For the stock setup, we're going to look at our stock plane. Our stock plane is at top. Uh, for shape, we have rectangular, cylinder, or cylindrical, sorry, solid and mesh, and a file. Uh, in this case, we have a rectangular part, so obviously we're going to go with rectangular. And we're going to look at our tool, our stock setup for our part. So right now we have all zeros, X, Y are all zeros. And we're going to look at our options. We have select corners, bounding box, all surfaces, all solids, all entities, and we can unselect all as well. Uh, I'm going to use a bounding box today uh, just because in a bounding box I like to be able to have uh, lines created once I create my stock. Uh, I can use those lines for geometry if I need to. So let's look at bounding box. In our bounding box manager opens up and the first thing we get is this little tool tip so select one or more entities or control A. I'm just going to come over and left click on my part and I'm going to say in selection. And you'll see it starts giving me a preview so of my part and my stock that's going to surround it. So inside my bounding box manager over to the left I have rectangular, cylindrical, spherical, and wrap as well. And again, we go through all of this in training. Uh, today, we're going to just stick with rectangular. Again, that's the type of part we have. So looking at our rectangular settings for our origin, uh, this box is what sets the pace for where the material will be added. So if anything, any of the left boxes are checked, it's going to add material to the right. Any of the right boxes are checked, it's going to add material to the left. And anything through the center will distribute it equally in X, Y, or Z. So right now I'm going to leave it set right in the center. I'm going to make my X size 13 inches and hit enter. And as soon as I hit enter, you'll see the stock start to grow. So you see the stock grows a little bit there. For Y, we're going to go ahead and go just six and a half inches. So I'm just going to type in 6.5 enter get a little bit of material on that outside edge and then for my Z we're gonna have material top and bottom uh, now you may have it distributed equally depending on your material size uh, for this instance I'm gonna add 25 thousandths to the top side of my part and then I'm gonna add 225 thousandths to the bottom we gotta have something to hold on to uh, with our fixturing, which we're going to use a vise here in just a minute. So for my Z, I'm going to go ahead and select the bottom because just like the left and the right, if I select the bottom, I'm going to add material in a positive Z. So I'm going to come over here and just left click over to the right of the 1875 and I'm going to do plus 0 0.025 and I'll hit enter and it adds that little bit of material to the top of my part so far so good and then I said we were going to add 225 to the bottom just keeps the numbers equal to 250 so I'm going to go plus oh, first I got to move my little dot here so now I'm going to say plus 0.225 enter and now I've added material not only to the top of my part, but as well to the bottom. So that gives me a little something to hang on to. Still in my bounding box, I've got my material size set. I like to come down, I mentioned to have lines for my geometry for my stock. So I'm gonna make sure on my create geometry, I have lines and arcs and I'll green check. And you'll see now that I have lines and arcs of where my stock or what represents my stock back over in my stock setup you'll see now we have 6.5 in Y, 13 in X, 2.125 in Z and then also over here for our stock origin you see the 25 thousandths worth of stock above my Z in, that we added during the, in the bounding box. I'm going to go ahead and turn off my display for now of the stock and the reason why is it's going to add little red dotted lines over the top of my stock and for me I just don't like to see anything extra in there that I don't need. I'm going to go ahead and green check out of my stock setups 
and now you see I have my part as well as my stock around my part. If you just happen to be wondering what the little points are in the center of the holes, I actually added some holes uh, into this model for us so I could go over some of the drilling features as well. 